good afternoon from the Epcot parking lot. We're headed in because Jen has not been to Festival of the Arts yet. And Regal Eagle opened. Yeah, so, so we're, we're going to try some barbecue. So much food today. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. And Jackson's here. It's actually kind of cold today. It's uh, 55 degrees outside, so he's like super bundled up. He looks like a little, a little bundled up little guy. Yeah. But it should be a pretty fun day. I'm excited. I'm super excited. I just feel like it's been so long since we've gone to Disney as frequently as we used to. Yeah. And I am like, lo I'm like loving this. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. Yes. Hey Jackson, who's the prettiest girl in school? The Epcot ball. Well, this looks really good. It seems like it's not too busy today. Spaceship Earth is a 30 minute wait. No, I don't know. What do you guys think? It doesn't look terrible. What are these three cast members doing standing up here? Are they like forcing people to go the other way? So right now, because of all the construction, this is actually an exit only for Spaceship Earth. So you can't get back to World Showcase back there. You have to go down this little side path over here. Or I haven't actually checked to see if like maybe you could go around the other side of Spaceship Earth. We'll check that out a little bit later today. But as of right now, this is the only way into World Showcase. Oh, the Jammeters are over here. Also, this is the old breezeway that was where Interventions was, where the meet and greets were. All closed off now. Monorail! Oh, oh, we found where all the people are. Here they are. Oh, they've started putting up topiaries for Flower and Garden Festival. I believe it starts on March 3rd. Oh, look at Peter Pan's creepy face right now. Here we are, we've made it over to the American Adventure and we're going to the Regal Eagle Smokehouse, which is the quick service to the left of the entrance of the American Adventure. The Regal Eagle Smokehouse Craft, Drafts, and Barbecue. And this is based off of the character Sam Eagle from the Muppets. They also have a gigantic barbecue out here. I don't, is there somebody in there working it? It's a, it's a real thing, you can see that. But I don't see anybody in there actually manning the barbecue. Oh, also there's an outdoor bar here where you can get, oh, you can get moonshine. Look at that. Ooh. So for the most part, it looks the same as it did before it turned into the Regal Eagle. A little bit extra red, white, and blue here and there. Then we have some Muppets theming back here. And I think that's about all of the Muppets theming that there is. I do consider myself somewhat of a fan of the Muppets, but I don't know what this bear's name is. It is pretty darn busy in here today, but I wanted to try to get a close up look at the menu. I don't have the zoom lens on, so this is about as close as I can get. We did do an entire article on this on our website with all the menu items and everything. And we'll put a link to that in the description down below so you guys can see a better look. Here's all the sauces that they have available. I got the sweet mustard sauce, I got the sizzling pit, and I got the brisket sauce to try. I think these are gonna be good. And here is everything that we got. We got the North Carolina chopped smoked pork butt platter with vinegar sauce, garlic toast, and a choice aside, my choice was pickles. This is the barbecue burger. So it's a beef patty topped with pulled pork and an onion ring. And this one comes with a side and we picked barbecue baked beans. You get a pretty nice amount of pulled pork on top though. And that onion ring looks so good. We went ahead and ordered one of each side because we just wanted to see which side was the best side. So this is the mac and cheese topped with breadcrumbs. It looks delicious, very creamy. We'll see how it tastes. So this is the barbecue jackfruit burger. It is a plant-based option. So it is vegan garlic bread, a plant-based burger, and then it's supposed to come with barbecue jackfruit on top and they forgot our jackfruit. So we just went up and got some and they put it on the side for us. So we'll just pop it right on the burger and we'll be good to go. And the side that we picked for this one was french fries. They look seasoned, they look good. The next side that we ordered was creamy coleslaw. And then we also got another side of the garlic toast. And lastly, we got a side of fried onion rings. They look really good. You don't get very many, but they look nice. Did you talk about this? Oh, oh no, we got a drink too. And this is the non-alcoholic specialty, the berry punch. It's white grape juice, strawberry, peach, and blackberry juice. It tastes like surprisingly a lot like cranberry juice. <laughs> so it's good. So one thing, we're, we're just starting to get into our meal, but one thing we wanted to point out is this isn't exactly pickles. Like it's not exactly a side of pickles, more along the lines of like a vinegar cucumber salad. Yeah, it's I like it. I know that not everybody is gonna like a vinegar based cucumber salad. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty tasty, but I, I would, think that I, I would call it like a filling side though, like a side that would fill you up. Yeah, I think that I would rather have just pickles though. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'd, li I'd rather fried pickles, actually. Oh yeah, me too. Sign me up for that. That would be so good. Yeah. So this is the cross section of my plant-based barbecue burger with jackfruit. Honestly, it looks really nice. I haven't tasted it yet, so I can't tell you about the flavor yet, but it looks good. And I added the spicy barbecue sauce and the mustard-based barbecue sauce. This is a really solid vegan option. Yeah? Yeah. I like this. I'm not vegan, but I just wanted to try it to see, like, is it good? And I would order this again. I did also want to mention that this is probably the loudest restaurant we've ever been in on Walt Disney World property. We're right next to the trash can. Oh, and all the trays are metal. It's pretty noisy, but it's also like kind of rowdy, like a barbecue place would be, you know? Yeah. It makes sense. Also, it took 20 minutes to get our food. It did take a long time. We ordered quite a bit of things, but like, it's quick serve, isn't it? Yeah. So, I don't know, but... All in all, like as far as right now goes, I am enjoying it. It's yeah. nice to be inside. It's warm. We have a table. I don't know. I don't mind it. This is Bobo. He's part of the Blue Ribbon Brisket Society. And he says, let flavor ring. He made the mop sauce. As we were getting ready to finish up our lunch at Regal Eagle, I did want to mention this used to be called Liberty Inn. And right down this hallway, normally there are bathrooms, but they are still renovating the bathrooms down here. So the only bathrooms that are available are off over by Kidcot, off to the right of the building. So uh, yeah, we're back at home now. That day took a turn. Yeah, the weather, it got so cold. It was, the feels like temperature was... 41. 41? Yeah. Wow. So for us, I know a lot of you guys are like, that's not cold. It gets, you know, like negative a million where I live. For us, it's very cold and we were not ready for it to be that cold. Well, especially because yesterday it was in the upper 80s. Yeah. So, but also when we got to the park, it was a little bit warmer than that. I want to say right. it was like 10 degrees warmer. <laughs> so yeah. um, the baby was cold. We were like, eh, we should probably just get, get going and get home. So we had big plans to ride some rides with him and to try some of the food in the Festival of the Arts booths. Mm -hmm. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go back to Epcot before the Festival of the Arts ends. Yeah. Which is literally in a couple of days. So we might have another Epcot video here in a couple of days. But it'll be different Epcot fun. Yeah. We're going to do some different stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but... And you guys saw how windy it was too. Like that was very difficult. I know. I just couldn't believe how the weather changed so quickly. But um, we did have an awesome time at Regal Eagle. Yeah. The food was actually really good. So here's my breakdown of the food. The pork butt was delicious. Mm -hmm. The french fries were delicious. So the pork butt, I didn't get to try it, but it looked good. Although the portion sizes looked small. Yeah. But was it, were you full? Uh, well, we had a lot of like sides. So I'm not sure if the pork made me full or if like all the other stuff that we ate did. Okay. Because what we did is we ordered three mains and then we ordered like all of the sides. Well, we had a friend with us and they were the ones that got the... The burger. Barbecue burger. Yeah. Yeah. Said it was really good. So the burger was good. Um, the french fries were good because they had like seasoning on them. They're a little bit, a little teeny tiny bit spicy. Yeah. Like not like, not like, oh my gosh, I can't eat this spicy, but just like the correct amount of spice. I think it was seasoned salt. Yeah. Do you think it was something spicy? I think there was a little bit of cayenne in there. I don't know about cayenne. I think there was a little bit of paprika in there. Well, I don't think it was paprika either. I think there was a little bit of something spicy in there. <laughs> I don't know what it was. We should find out. But it was good. It was like a seasoned salt. It was nice. Yeah. And, and then, then the mac and cheese was really good. It was not your average theme park mac and cheese. But also it was not like a like a yellow macaroni and cheese. It was like a white cheddar. I think it was like a... Almost like a Wisconsin cheddar. Yeah. It had like a nice, like a sharp flavor. Yeah. Toasted breadcrumbs on top. It had a really great flavor. It was really, really good. I kind of wish I had gotten that as my side. I wish I had gotten it for my side instead. I got the pickles, which I love pickles, but these are not pickles those that was cucumber salad yeah we mentioned it as we were eating it but it was it was like a sweet vinegar cucumber salad yeah it was good it just wasn't they weren't pickles i would have loved it if they were pickles i know a lot of people were upset that they were offering pickles as a side and they were saying pickles aren't a side but i think because this is a cucumber salad really that is a side to me which by the way uh down here in florida we have been to restaurants where pickles are a side yeah it's definitely maybe a southern thing i think so I don't know. I wouldn't have minded it because I love pickles, but it was definitely like more of a cucumber salad to yeah. me. Yeah. I wish that they were fried pickles. 
Yeah, fried pickles are always delicious. But um, I also liked the baked beans. I didn't think they were terrible, but a lot of people said they were very bad. Okay, so I have had much worse baked beans than these. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I've had much better baked beans than these, too. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. They weren't the like best, most wonderful baked beans. Four Rivers baked beans are the best. I don't think we can compare this to Four Rivers. No, Four but Rivers, I'm just saying but, that's like but, my but pinnacle. Four, but Four Rivers is a uh, like a barbecue restaurant down here in Florida. Yeah. And it's just like a really good barbecue. Everything is delicious. Everything is quality. And I think this, you can't compare it to like theme park barbecue. Right. Um, but. So the, the beans were uh, baked beans with burnt ends, mm -hmm. and they had a little bit too much of a ketchup flavor for me. Yeah, they, like it too was much more of a tomato, tomato. base. Tomato, yeah. yeah. I didn't think they were bad. I really but, didn't. Yeah, they were they were thick. Like, mm -hmm. I do like a thicker sauce for a baked bean. Yeah. Whereas opposed to, like, I've had baked beans that were just, like, runny, watery, not oh, yeah. good. These were not that. These were better than that. Yeah, I thought that was pretty okay. It had, like, a nice, like, meat ratio. Like, there was a lot of meat in them. Yeah. So I thought it was pretty nice. The coleslaw was actually really good. They weren't super mayonnaise-y, like, you know, or dressing, whatever they put in coleslaw. Yeah, um, I feel like I didn't really get to taste... I tasted it, but I don't remember it, so it didn't, like, stand out to me. Oh, I thought it was pretty delicious. I ate it all. Yeah. Um, what was the other... Oh, the onion the rings. The onion rings. My first onion ring that I had was super soggy. I think we kind of let the food sit for a minute, though, too, because well, we were, like, taking pictures and stuff of it. Yes, and we were there during the lunchtime rush, which we got there at, like, 2. Mm -hmm. And it was still lunchtime rush. It took 20 minutes after I ordered for us to get our food. Oh, the food did take a long time, yeah. Yeah, and then when we left, we left at, like, 3.30. Mm -hmm. There was no lines at all. Yeah, it was totally dead. Every single, like, bay was totally no line yeah so i think we just came at like the busy lunch time yeah, yeah yeah but the onion rings i liked them i just didn't like they were super greasy which they're onion rings they're going to be greasy but just know that like if you don't love a super greasy onion ring you may not like them which was interesting because the french fries were not greasy no they were so good yeah i think of all the sides my favorite sides were the french fries and the macaroni and cheese yeah for sure. I also, as far as my meal goes, because I had the plant-based burger with the uh, jackfruit barbecue on top. So jackfruit, I guess, is just something that takes on the flavor of other things really well. Yeah, like whatever so it was cooked in. It, it looks kind of stringy. It almost looks like meat. Almost looks like pulled pork. Yeah, it was kind of strange because I've never had jackfruit, but I actually, yeah. I really liked it. I thought it was really nice. And then my burger. And I do want to say like when you say jackfruit and anytime you're thinking of fruit, you're thinking of a sweet flavor. It wasn't sweet. No, it wasn't. It, it literally just tasted like barbecue. Yeah. It just tasted like the barbecue sauce they cooked it in. It had the consistency of mushrooms though. To me, it didn't. Well, okay. In your mouth, yeah. It felt like you were eating mushrooms, but it didn't taste like mushrooms. Okay. I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it definitely was a nice plant-based option. I thought it was like a really solid choice for a plant-based burger. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. they served it on um, vegan garlic toast. It was really delicious. And it was nice and like crisp. The, the toast was nice and crisp. The only thing that I did not love about it was it had kind of a mushier texture than like a regular beef patty. Obviously right. it's not beef, but so that's the only thing if you're like a texture person, you may not love how it doesn't have a lot of, you know how beef is more like, you know, you, it has like a chew to it. Like beef is not, not chewy, but there's just more, it's like a thicker feeling when you bite through it. Right. So the this patty, this plant-based patty was not really like that. It's a little bit mushier, but the flavor was there. It was a really nice flavor. Did it, it had coleslaw on it too, right? No, it, that was actually, I kind of thought that the coleslaw would have been nicer than it had lettuce and tomato, like shredded oh. lettuce and diced tomato. And I think that the coleslaw would have been a better option, but it was still really great. The coleslaw would have added some texture to it, like some crunch. Yeah. But I would order it again, though. I, I actually did like it. So for my main, I got the uh, pulled pork, but it was with a vinegar sauce. And I didn't like the vinegar sauce as much as I liked. I believe it was the brisket sauce that I put on it. Yeah. That was so good. Was that... Did you like the spicy one or no, the barbecue? No, no. Like the traditional barbecue. That was the brisket sauce. Yeah. It was really good. But the sweet and spicy sauce was also really, really good. Yeah. Actually, they were all good, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. There was one that we didn't try. That was the vinegar one that was on my pulled pork. Oh, okay. 
But uh, I ended up just putting the regular barbecue sauce all over my pulled pork, mm -hmm. and it was delicious. And we tried the mustard one. Mm -hmm. That was also good. I like that one, yeah. And then the sweet and spicy one was really good, too. Yeah. And then what about our drink? What did we have? Oh, it was the, um, the like, punch mixture. Yeah. I thought it, I honestly just thought it tasted, when all of those fruit juices were mixed together, to me, it tasted like cranberry juice. <laughs> but not as tart as cranberry juice. Yeah, it was a little bit sweeter. Yeah. But so it wasn't that exciting. I probably wouldn't order that again. I would probably just get like tea. Yeah, I would just but, get like a soda or something. Yeah. But all in all, to me, I really do think that this is a solid addition to World Showcase, like yeah. to the quick serve. And I, I do think that we'll eat there again. I think so too. Yeah. I don't think this will be our last time. So there were a few... Sorry, I put on a sweater because I had to take Bandit out really quick. It's very <laughs> cold outside. Yeah. Uh, so there was a few things about Epcot that I wanted to mention that we we're going to show in the next video, but I did want to mention that a lot of the bathrooms are closed in yeah. Future World. I know. I thought that was really strange. Yeah. So there's one, when you're facing from the gates that you're back towards Spaceship Earth, there's one to the right. The one on the left is closed. Mm -hmm. The one over by Test Track is closed. Yeah. There's just a lot of bathrooms closed, which is not fun. <laughs> yeah. So the next time we go back, which will hopefully be soon so that we can do more Festival of the Arts stuff, um, we'll show you guys that. Yeah. We'll, we'll give you guys a little update before it, it ends. It ends on the 24th. Yeah. But we definitely, I think, me personally, I think I recommend Regal Eagle. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. If you're looking for barbecue, if you're just looking for something, I like that it has indoor seating. I like that it also has the outdoor seating. If it's nice outside, you can sit out there. There's nice umbrellas over the outdoor seating. But if you're just looking for some like easy barbecue, easy delicious food, I don't know. I would check it out. Yeah, apparently there are, we didn't check out too much of the beer selection, but apparently there are a lot of beers. So I did want to mention though, it is very loud inside of Regal Eagle. Yeah, but I think that's because when we were there, it was like rush hour. Right. It was like the busy time because it did, it did quiet down. Well, it's always sort of been, that used to be Liberty Inn and it's always sort of been loud in there because it's metal tables, metal chairs, tile floor, right. like nothing to absorb the sound. Right. So... Other than that, though, I feel like everything else was pretty good. Yeah, and I like yeah. the theming. I like that it was Muppets themed. I didn't honestly see very much Muppets theming. Yeah, it was very light. It was all behind where you were sitting. Oh. Like, I showed Bobo, and then there was other uh, Muppets characters that were, like, behind where people were sitting, so I didn't want to be like, let me just film over top of your heads. Well, I just thought it was kind of strange, though, that they're calling it, like, a Muppets themed restaurant. It's not really. Yeah. I don't know. I think that they could have gone a little heavier on the theming, but... If you were just talking about the food, the food was good. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic day, though. And we'll definitely be back. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Alex from Jacksonville, Florida. And now it's time to pay the price.